Hello, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Whitney. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some products from the Kylie Cosmetics Birthday Collection slash Cheetah Collection. Timestamps will be in the description box below in case you're looking for a specific part. So this collection launched on October 26th. Hey guys, I actually have a knife to open this up. <laughs> I actually got it delivered today, which is October 31st. Happy Halloween, everyone. It was actually supposed to be delivered on Monday, but it came a couple days early, so that was really awesome. Um, wow, this is so much smaller than I thought it would be. Okay, I got the lip kit, the high gloss, and the shadow sticks. So first we're gonna go ahead and dive on into the shadow sticks. Wow, these are so glittery. Like this, there's glitter everywhere. Wow, it's usually not that bad. This packaging is like a tan peachish kind of color with brown spots as well as glittery cheetah spots. So Kylie is written in a sparkly, reflective, silvery gold. You can also set the packaging up and have multiples of them and they go together perfectly. They just continue the, uh, the pattern. The cases of these eyeshadow sticks are a brown with a rose gold cheetah prints and Kylie written in rose gold. Ooh, that is really pretty. There's little pieces of foam to protect the inside of it. That's pretty cool. Hey, you're chill. It's just a trap. They really don't have much of a smell. <laughs> I have never used the shadow sticks before. I was very curious about them. You can just twist them up. Yeah. Let's see how much we got in there. She a little bad. Mm. Get with the That's all right, I guess. But the containers of these, they just feel very cheap. These are so beautiful, especially the rose gold color, my God. Okay, it's not exactly what I was expecting, but it is really pretty. Wow, this is so creamy. Catch Me If You Can is a metallic icy gold. I think that description is perfect for it. It's very beautiful, really reflective in the light. I wasn't expecting it to be this bold. It is really pretty. I'm going in with Catch Me If You Can first. Okay, it's kind of cold to the touch. Oh dang, seems like it's just transferring my eyeshadow. Uh, okay, not gonna lie, this is a really strange to work with. I thought it would be nice, but honestly, it's just so large. It's really difficult to work with. It is very creamy. The application is smooth. It's not gonna be able to keep that pointed shape to it. So as it wears down, it's obviously gonna be harder to maneuver. So it does leave a ton of eyeshadow residue, but I mean, that's not a big deal. That happens. Okay, these are just really awkward to hold into your hand though, I feel like. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got this one. Oh, freak. Yeah, the rose gold color is just so much more stunning than the icy. Comparing these together to darker one, the rose gold is definitely more reflective, more shiny. It just is way more captivating than the lighter shade. I feel like the lighter shade is just kind of lacking sparkle and shine compared to this one. Born to be Wild is a metallic pink champagne. I'm not really seeing the pink. Like I said, it looks more like a rose gold to me, but irregardless of how you describe the color, it is freaking stunning. God, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna apply this to the outer portion of my eyes, working my way in. Ooh, wow. These actually do feel really nice on the eyes though. They're just far too large in my opinion very very difficult to use in that aspect oh my god this is stunning the colors on the eye look actually fairly similar oh wow you guys okay oh my gosh it actually dries down look at that Put it on the Don't know how to add. it's not sticky on my eyes wow when you apply it and like it doesn't really feel too sticky okay i'm just gonna pull down and see what happens like oh that? my god. You like that? Look at that. She a little bad. Uh, Ooh, a little that is freaking impressive. Mm. Okay, I've got to put some mascara on now. Hang on. Okay, guys, so I added some mascara and some eyeliner, and I know <laughs> my eyeliner is horrible. Um, 
and my eye keeps watering. So yeah, I don't normally do eyeliner anyways, just because of my hooded eyes. So yeah, don't judge me too harshly on that. Here we have the packaging for the high gloss, a picture of Kylie and she is wearing her cheetah attire. And then the spots on her hat and her leotard are shiny. Her lips are also shiny. At the bottom, we have Kylie written in that silvery gold. The vials for these high glosses are clear with a brown cap with more of that gold silvery print to it. I keep saying gold silvery because it's not like a true gold. It is kind of tamed down. If you were to mix silver and gold, this is the color I believe you would get. I'm gonna go into Bad Kitty. Bad Kitty is described as an opaque, warm terracotta. That awesome vanilla-y cupcake-ish smell. I can't figure out another way to describe it. It's just, it's a really sweet smell. You got me head over heels with it. Hey, hey Joe. Ooh. You out here dressed to the kill with it. What are you bringing up next? I don't see how they can deal with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, burning up like August. Now I don't see no rain. I think this color is really cute. Normally her high glasses don't really have any intensity uh, for opaqueness. <laughs> um, it's really just a little flush of color normally. I really like this one. I will say that applying it, it did feel a little more sticky than her normal formula. Next one I'm going into is feline cute. <laughs> okay, that's a fun word play. <laughs> Feline cute is described as a sheer pale peach. Oh my. Wow, okay. Okay, I guess now that it's spread out, it looks a little better. What do you guys think? This color is pretty cute, actually. I, <laughs> when I was first putting it on, I was like, no, mm -mm. because it was, it looked so opaque, but it's just a little tinge of color. And I actually really like it. I feel like that one didn't feel as sticky as the others. This one is Wilden. Wilden is a sheer champagne gold. Put it on the tap. Don't know how to act. How you like that? How you like that? She a little bad. It's a look. I mean, I think it's all right. It's just, I think it's just too pale looking for me. Okay, that one feels a little bit harder to take off than they normally do. Hissy Fit. Hissy Fit is a sheer sunset orange. Do you see those purple reflex? God, that's gorgeous. Okay, this one is so pretty. I love this. All right, so my favorite is Bad Kitty and then I love Hissy Fit. Those are so cute. Here we have the famous Kylie lip kit. Now on this packaging, we actually have a picture of Kylie. And then we have that same peachy tan color with the brown cheetah prints. And most of these prints are outlined in that silvery gold. We also have a dark glittery brown with reflex of orange in it. I'm gonna be honest with you here, guys. <sighs> not my favorite packaging. I'm really not a fan. I, it really bothers me that it's Obviously it's photoshopped, but and what I mean by that is you can see like the sun or the lighting on her hair. I just, that really bothers me. I don't know why. I just don't think of Kylie Cosmetics. I mean, obviously, you know, it has her picture, but I just, I really enjoy the lip drip. Like I think that's so iconic. And I know on her 21st birthday, she did pictures of herself on the packaging, but I feel like that was done more in theme rather than this one. I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling it guys. Let's see if we have anything on the inside. Oh, okay, so just that. 
I was thinking we'd get something shiny or something. And it's, I mean, I still like how she does the inside of the packaging. So we have a lip liner encasing in that brown color. On the cap, we have the leopard spots, just like we did with the shadow sticks. They are in a rose gold. And then for the liquid lipstick vial, we have a clear tube with that goldish silver cheetah print on it. And it goes all the way up to the cap as well. And then obviously the cap is brown. Can't Be Tamed Lip Liner is described as a deep warm terracotta. Can't Be Tamed Matte Liquid Lipstick is described as a warm terracotta. So up at the top, we have the liner. Next, we have the liner with the liquid lipstick. And then the last one, we just have the liquid lipstick. I can't really tell too much of a difference between the liner with the liquid lipstick and the liner without. I guess it doesn't look as patchy. Cutting no corners. So let me know what's up. Playing all together. Why are you acting tough? Got me cracking up. The lip liner is smooth and creamy. I'm just having some trouble getting it on because of the stickiness residue from the lip gloss. Ooh, wow. I really didn't think I was gonna like this, but I actually kind of do. So here's just the liner by itself. So pretty. I'm actually really liking this. Ooh, yes. Oh my god. Wow. This liquid lipstick smells the same as her normal liquid lipsticks. It smells great. Um, I do feel like it's way more liquidy than her normal <laughs> liquid lipsticks. You might want to be a little bit careful if uh, you set the two down. I just feel like it's, it's going to pour out pretty well. Mm. I'm not digging this so much. How you like that? How you like that? She a little bad. It's a little, yeah. I'm still, mm, I like the lip liner, but not so much the liquid lipstick. I feel like this is just too orange for me. And I really wasn't thinking that this was gonna work well with my skin tone at all. I think if you have a darker skin tone, which, I mean, let's face it, pretty much everybody has a darker skin tone than me. I mean, let's just be real here. I think if you have warm undertones with the yellow or the olive, I think this would look really cute on you. It's a perfect fall shade. It really is. <laughs> okay, guys. So we, you can see the liner left a mark. So the liquid lipstick is kiss proof, the liner not so much. I wanted to show you guys how the high gloss looks over top of the liquid lipstick. This one right here is Wilden and then that one is Hissy Fit and I think Wilden looks stunning on top of it. The one down here is Feline Cute and the one down on this side is Bad Kitty. We're putting Wilden on top. You don't need no filters. You my rocket, you my perfect picture. And we're gonna put Hissy Fit down at the bottom. Baby, you know I'm trying to kick it with you. Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark. We get 106 and park, you be my rock. I be your tip. I'm trying to show you off. I'm trying to flaunt you. I'm obsessed with you, baby, I want you. Let them watch you. Tell them they can tune in show you how we do this. All right, so let's get to swatch comparisons. Right here we have Handbag Ho, and then here we have Do You Boo. Handbag Ho is a lot lighter and more of a nude compared to Can't Be Tamed. Do You Boo is also more of a nude and definitely lighter than Can't Be Tamed. Here we have Cupid, and Cupid is a lot more opaque and darker than Hissy Fit. I believe they nearly have the exact same color of Reflex. Um, over on this side, we have Hissy Fit, 
next to Little Sunshine from the Stormy Collection. Now these two are so freaking close, nearly identical, except My Little Sunshine. It has those same purple glitters, but it also has like a cooler toned or almost like a blue toned glitter along with it. So up here we have Blow Me Away, which actually isn't all that similar to Hissy Fit. Blow Me Away has multiple different reflex in it, whereas Hissy Fit just has the mainly the gold. And then over here we have Must Be Magic from Kylie's Holiday 2019 collection. Must Be Magic is definitely more of a yellowy tone. The lip kit will set you back 29 bucks. The high gloss bundle will set you back 48 bucks, which it's pretty expensive, but it's actually a really good deal because you are getting four glosses and basically the fourth one is free. It's, well, technically it's a dollar. Each individual shadow stick is 10 bucks. I felt like that was a good price, honestly. So my final thoughts on this collection or on these products in this collection, like I said, I really like these, this high gloss and this one, this one is okay. And this one, mm, the shadow sticks, the performance is amazing. And I feel like they're probably even waterproof. I don't know, hang on. Actually, we'll do this at the end. Remind me guys, remind me. The shadow sticks, I definitely recommend the rose gold shade, which is born to be wild. Oh my God, it's stunning. The other one, I think you could probably do without. I mean, I'm glad I got it anyways because I do like the lighter parts, but this is just, this is really good. And it's such a light, I, I was expecting it to be a lot darker than it actually is. If you like lighter colors on your eyes, I think you'd be happy with this one. I, I think the Catch Me If You Can, the Icy Shadow Stick. If you don't get it, I don't think you're gonna regret it. It's just, it's not as awesome as the rose gold shade. <laughs> as for the lip kit, I think if you have a darker skin tone or you have undertones that are warmer, I think you would really enjoy this lip kit. I think it is a perfect fall color, but I feel like if you have cooler undertones, it doesn't really work the best. Also, I wanted to say, so all of the products from the collection are still in stock. So if you haven't gotten this yet and you want to, this is the best time to get it because she's having a sale, a Halloween sale. With each dollar amount you spend, you can get up to four free products. That's pretty freaking cool. If you want these, I would go ahead and take advantage of it now when you can get those free products. Oh, you guys, wait, hang on. Hang on here, let me take these out. They've totally, <sighs> hang on, let me check my receipt. Either they've been forgetting to place the uh, little postcards thank you notes in with the packaging or they're doing away with it. You know, save paper, save the trees. It's just so disappointing not getting the limited edition photo postcard type deal. That's something a lot of us look forward to. Kind of sucks we didn't get one, but let me know if you guys got one. Um, also, did your package arrive today or do you have to wait a little while? Let me know if you got anything from this collection or if you're gonna take advantage of the sale and get something from this collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who enjoys Kylie Cosmetics products, be sure to share this video with them. I wanna say thank you to all of my current subscribers. You guys are amazing and I appreciate your support. Also, if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. It really does help me out. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Later, freaks. Sorry guys, I almost forgot. We were gonna check if the shadow sticks were waterproof.
Nah, not really, no. Do you guys like my pants? I um, dress for the occasion. Oh yeah, and look at this. That's a leopard, by the way. Or a cheetah, I don't know which one. I was trying to figure out what the difference is. Oh my God. You guys, you guys remember the cheetah girls? Like who remembers the cheetah girls? Raise your hand. Like, let me know in the comments below. Like you, did you watch the cheetah girls? Okay. Like, I got that song in my head. Oh, and also that Miley Cyrus, like, that can't be tamed. And then you're know, like, we're cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Yeah, I'm having too much fun now. mama didn't raise a It's good to know. Oh. I didn't realize we were still recording. So real quick, I have to tell you guys, do you guys know the difference between a leopard and a cheetah? Well, uh, apparently a leopard looks like this and a cheetah looks like this. So uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting with the packaging since we've got both cheetah and leopard prints going on, so. Yeah, Kylie did refer to it as the Cheetah Collection. In today's video, we're gonna be... Re in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing... In today's video, I'm gonna re... <sighs> Oops, pretty seductive. Wow, I look so white right now. <laughs> Probably because I am white, but you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Where is that? Oh my God, Prince, I forgot you were in here. You're sleeping where I put my underwear. Okay, whatever. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is difficult to open. What the heck? I like to save the packaging because it's so cute. God. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Glitter all over this too. This one was easier to open. I'm busy, Fifi. Okay, okay, look at me, wow, whoa, what? I got glitter everywhere now. Timestamps will be in this just, ooh, sparkly. But I think, I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and if I think he, the lip kit will say. Oh my goodness. What the heck? And the high gloss will set you back 46 bucks. Now, this is actually a really good deal because you're basically getting one for free. So they're normally $16 each. And with the 46, wait, okay, I feel like the math is wrong. It should be bright. No, was it 49? Okay, do Google. 16 times three. The answer is 48. 48, okay. <laughs> See, I thought that was off. Lily Cosmetics. Yo, this birthday slash leopard slash cheetah, whatever you want to call it, collection. And, okay, me. Um, 